Eddie Maurice walked from the courtroom free. Charges of aggravated assault, pointing a firearm, and careless use of a firearm all withdrawn. Relief that it's over. It's been uh, quite a tough four months to go through this. One night in February, Maurice confronted several people on his property going through his vehicle. One of the men ended up shot in the arm, and Maurice was charged. Today, prosecutors said new evidence from firearms experts decided the case. It had a direct impact on the decision today to withdraw the charges. The defense lawyer says the report confirmed Maurice had fired a warning shot, but it ricocheted and hit the alleged trespasser. They refused to leave. He fired a warning shot away from them, and apparently one of the intruders got injured. Maurice's case is over, but the anger it has ignited is not. Protesters have shown up at every one of his court appearances. They say they're not only vulnerable to rising rural crime rates, but also the unacceptably slow response by police. We have concerns with what people are being told they can and cannot do regarding uh, defense of themselves. United Conservative Party leader Jason Kenney congratulated Maurice on Twitter. Important for all to remember that Section 34 of the Criminal Code permits reasonable use of force in self-defense, he wrote. Some U.S. states have stand-your-ground laws, but Canadians have no stated right to shoot an intruder on their property. While advocates ramp up a battle to change those laws, the Crown prosecutor warned. When an individual discharges a firearm and there are people in close proximity, there is a probability of injury or death. And as a result, there's a probability of a prosecution. With his court case behind him, Eddie Maurice will be taking a break. Probably take a holiday. <laughs> his supporters vow to fight on. Carolyn Dunn, CBC News, Calgary. A part of the problem in Alberta is a drastic shortage of RCMP officers. Last year, there were 230 unfilled positions. If we only have two members on and we're responding to a call of uh, an armed robbery at a convenience store, and at the same time, uh, we have a, a call of a, a, a spousal violence, well, we have to start making some tough choices. How do you even make that call? That... You, you wing it, yeah. And Alberta's shortage reflects a nationwide problem for the force. One possible solution, looking to other police academies for new recruits and topping up their training to RCMP standards.